Yeah, good morning, this is uh, Bang Bang Ray Hill, uh, just a podcast this morning, not too big, um, I'm off out in a minute, um, just come back from a little walk, and uh, it's been a bit good, yeah, and I'm uh, going to get in the bath, and then go and uh, take the dogs out. Anyway, um, yeah, I was uh, looking at you, uh, you Lou Yates' uh, podcast and all this, that and the other, you know, and people were saying this, that and the other, listen, he was a very, very hard man, very fit man, and very strong, yeah, but you could see he's powerful built. Powerful, big neck, massive shoulders, but not too tall, you know, powerful, yeah. But, um, you know, like, it's, everyone keeps saying he's the governor, you know what I mean? Listen, let me tell you something. They were saying Roy Shaw was the governor. They are saying Lenny was the governor. Listen, there was no governors, mate. Let me tell you this. There was no governors. I mean, every, it, it's, come on. There was no governors, you know. The governors between Roy and Lenny. No one else. Who was they fighting? Hey, yes, of course they was fighting people. They was fighting nobody's really. You know what I mean? They did fight Lou. And, and, and when they did, Lou won. You know, uh, uh, Lenny swerved him. Maybe it wasn't Lenny's fault. Maybe it was Vic Andretti and, uh, and Frankie Warren that swerved it because they'd know more, more likely to get beat. You know what I mean? But no one wants to get beat and showing up in bits and pieces. So that's more like the reason. Uh, Roy um, beat um, Lou. Uh, but, it, you know, they said it was a bit of a... A dodgy old uh, verdict, and uh, Lou was smashing him all uh, around the ring. You know, I mean, I sparred with uh, Lenny. I didn't think Lenny was no good at, at that at that time when I was sparring with him. Um, 79, 80s, and uh, Roy, same thing as a Beckett, 70, 79, 80, 70, 79, 80, same thing at the Beckett. I didn't think, I mean, he came and Roy knocked me about a bit the first couple, couple of times I sparred with him. After that, I, I didn't let him pull him around, you know what I mean? Same with Lenny, really, same difference. But, um, you know, I, 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 Lou, listen, I was uh, fighting in 79, and uh, I never I never really heard of him. You know, I mean, you can't say he's the governor. He swerved. You know, I thought I was uh, a pretty good as an as a, 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 a unlicensed fighter. I, I mean, you know, there was plenty of opportunities for him to fight me, plenty of opportunities for me to fight him, but I didn't really heard of him. And, uh, you know, I mean, come on. There was a lot of fighters about him. A lot, a lot of fighters, you know what I mean? I mean, come on, you had... Come on, this was... I mean, yes, some good fighters, mate. You had um, Lloyd Waltham, Gutridge, Colombo, um, uh, what was his name? Uh, there was... Uh, 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 oh, fuck, you know... Uh, um, oh, sorry, mate. Cliff Fields. You had me. Um, you had... Who, who, who was... Um, fuck, you know, sorry, mate, I forget... I'm murdering names in the mornings, mate. You had Lenny, you had Roy, Lou Yates, where he come from. Um, I, I, I know he come from up north, and uh, I've never really heard of him. I only heard of him since now on, on the podcast, you know. Uh, you had, um, God, I don't know, there's some good fighters around there, you know. So, I mean, I mean, there's loads of them. I've not even looked it up. There, there, had, to be, there had to be 15 to 20 fighters, heavyweight fighters, then, you know. In them days, Chippendale, they were, I mean, they was all heavyweight fighters. Um, you know, there was, a, there was some really, really good fighters. I mean, come on, I mean, you, you can't just say Roy and, uh, and, and, and Lenny. Them two was the gun between them. You know, that was it. They couldn't be the gun between us because we wouldn't let them be the gunners. We'd fight them. You know, we're, we're not loose. We'd fight them. They ain't gonna be. They ain't gonna be no gunners over us, mate. You know. And, and um, you know, and, and it, it got to the stage where, I, I mean, everybody had heard about Roy, everybody heard about Lenny, uh, Ye- Lou Yates. I didn't hear about at all. Um, who was the other? Who was the other heavyweight? Um, come from Lewisham, Cat for Depth for that way. Come on, you had Johnny Old, you had Davy Old, you had Terry Coombs, you had Terry Sharp. Come on, it was there was a lot of fighters, you know. I mean, my mate, even my mate Alec Jones, he was he was no uh, uh, a street fighter or a legal fighter or whatever, but he could have beat all that lot. He could have beat that lot easy, you know. You had another guy who worked in he worked in string string fillers. My mate Ray the Viking, good fighter. He was a good fighter, mate. I didn't I didn't put him in it. He was a good fighter. He could hold it, hold his hands up. He wouldn't fall, you know. I mean, you had uh, it, I mean there was a, a loads. There was loads and loads of fighters about in them days. About the governors, mate. It makes me it makes me feel sick when I keep hearing this thing about that he was the governor. There's no governors, mate. There was no governors. 
Germans are the ones that fight and don't ever get beat. They don't ever get beat, you know what I mean? Lou Yates, I don't know what happened. I've not heard of him. I don't know his record. I've not heard nothing about him before. In them days, it was a bit hard to records. Uh, there was no vi real good videos. You see the fight with, with Lenny and, uh, and Roy and uh, you, Lou, Lake, you, Lou, Lou Yates when he jumped to the ring to challenge, to challenge Lenny. There's not a lot about in them days, you know? Not a lot about. Most of it, I, I mean, for Roy Shaw, it was, um, who was it? Um, oh, bloody hell. Yeah, well, it's... I'm really bad with these, uh, these names, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm terrible, really. I, I mean, once the podcast finished, and then all the names comes in, you know what I mean? But you, uh, first of all, you had Lenny, you know, you had Frankie Ryan, and, and, and he was going up in promotions, you know, he was going to become a professional promoter. He, doesn't, he, he can't like uh, the idea that he was a um, um, unlicensed manager. You know, and saying fuck the boxing ball of control with Vet Andretti when I was together once and uh, on that box on. So, you know, I mean, he can't like it, it, it that he was doing that at that time. Uh, you know, it, but he moved, moved on to uh, to a professional fight, to a professional manager, and he's uh, earned a fortune. You know what I mean? He's earned a few bob. And fair play to him, mate. Good luck to him. But he he was more like the ones who got the video sorted out for Lenny. Um, you had, uh, who, 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 who was uh, Roy Shaw's uh, manager at that time? Um, oh, I can't remember his name, mate. You know what I mean? Joe Pyle. Joe Pyle was Roy's manager. You know what I mean? And Joe Pyle must have spent a few shillings to get Roy on the video and all that. You know, uh, me, there wasn't anybody. Jimmy Tibbet, you know, I mean, we were just starting, but we was knocking them all over. I mean, come on, I had 42 prize fights, mate. I won 38, lost two, and, and drew two. Come on, that ain't bad record, is it? You know what I mean? And, and, and I didn't swerve anybody. I didn't swerve anybody. Me and Lenny were supposed to fight twice. And he never showed up. And it's not maybe not his fault. It may be, as I say, it may be Frankie Warren's fault or Vic Andretti's fault. Listen, no one wants to fight someone and they're going to come unstuck. Believe me, they don't want it. They don't want it, mate. They don't want it. I mean, I was a spy with Lenny and they knew this, what I was like. Uh, come on, they don't want it. They, they swerve it. They swerve it. Um, you know, uh, there was some, honestly, there was a load, a load of fighters out there. I mean, black guy, Lord Waltham. Good fighter. When he hit you on the chin, mate, he hit you on the chin and he and, and he bowled you over. He gave me a concussion at the back hit when he spawned when I spawn with him and uh, you know he can he can fight, he can he can bang, you know. And he was open to a lot of punches, but he hit me listen, if you're a heavyweight, yeah, and you get hit from certain angles you can't just can't see the punch or whatever, you're gonna go. You're gonna go. It's the angles, isn't it? It's the angles that they throw it, you know what I mean? It's the angles they hit you. If you ain't aware of that punch coming, mate, you're in trouble. You know what I mean? And and if you can take a, a blow for a fair play, but at certain angles you can't. You can't hit your own body here, mate. You're going to go over. You know you, you're going to go, and there's no no two ways about it. But as I said again, um, there was no governors. Uh, Lou Lou has maybe said it. Someone told me this. Lou said it on his podcast that he was the governor, or someone said he was the governor. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, he hasn't. He didn't fight me. He didn't fight me. I didn't hurt, uh, ever heard of him. I was getting on there. A lot of people knew I was. He didn't fight me. He didn't fight a lot of people. You know. I mean, he didn't even fight Cliff Fields. And, and believe it or not, mate. I mean, Cliff Fields would have beat Lou. You know. I, I I'm 100 percent sure Cliff Fields would have beat Lou Lou Yates. You know. Respect to Lou. Respect for him for the person he is, and, and the way he is today. It's a shame the way he is today, you know, uh, I don't know if he's had a stroke or whatever, you know, but the guy's a proper, proper man, you see him, he's a proper, proper, proper hard man, you know what I mean, proper, proper hard man, mate, you know, and uh, I hold my hands up to him, and, uh, and, and you know, and, and I want him to get on in life, I think I should uh, try and do a film on him, get someone to act his part, and go for the book and do it, because he deserves that, yeah, he deserves that. You know, uh, Roy, Roy, Roy Shaw, the same really. But I don't know. They made little films about him. Lenny, the, the film they make about Lenny was, I don't, I don't know who made that, but it was terrible, mate. That that that, that didn't do Lenny any favors. That film at all. You know, everyone I spoke to about that film. Don't reckon it at all. Don't reckon it. But you know, but that's it. I mean, I'm going to do, as I say, I'm going to write um, some books. You know, and uh, get them get them going. You know, and uh, uh, hopefully maybe. Hopefully, maybe do a film. You know what I mean. I've got people 
in the film game uh, that I want to talk to. Come on, it's not easy. It's not easy. We're, we're, we ain't no, we're, we're nobodies, really. You know what I mean? We're nobodies. But we try to get forward on uh, on the podcast. You know, uh, listen, I'm having merged with this, with, this, with Google and, and, and YouTube. I've been doing this now for a long, long time. And I the most I've got out is just 55 quid. 55 quid. And I haven't, I haven't been paid. I had no money out of this company. I know people keep saying go live. Did you used to do that? Yeah. But when you think about it, Google and YouTube, if I've done 106 or 160 or 126 um, uh, uh, podcasts, they've all got advertising on them, most of them. You say 100 got advertisers, so what sort of money they're earning? And they can't pay you that little bit of money. They, they go, Come on, they're playing games. It doesn't mean nothing to them. They're earning millions of pounds per month. Millions. Millions a month. 20 million, 10 million, five, whatever they're earning, they're earning every month. They can't pay the people who do the podcast. It's terrible. You know, maybe paying big people like Sean, maybe big people like uh, 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 Marvin and, and Christian and them sort of people. They ain't paying me. They ain't paying me a penny. You know what I mean? And it's, they keep saying, yeah, 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 but I don't get nothing. They've got to sort it out as I'm going to give it the elbow, mate. I'm going to give this um, podcast, I will give it the elbow because the only thing that's getting me really is people that um, what I like, really, that people want to want to have, wanna give me, uh, a, 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 you know, sit down and a chat to me and do a podcast. But it's like everything, mate. I ain't doing these things for nothing no more. I ain't going on these things and, and getting nothing out of it. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know, I mean, we've got to live. We've got to live. Come on, I'm 71. we got to live, mate. We get a little pensions and what have you. I ain't going back to the pavement. I ain't going back to thieving. I ain't doing none of that. I ain't going to do none of that shit. Do you know what I mean? I just want to get this book sorted out and do this. You know? And, uh, you know, and... Um, come on. I mean, you look at these podcasts. You look at my podcasts. And I don't give no bollocks. I don't, I don't talk shit. I talk from here, mate. I talk from here. I don't lie about things. Another thing I want to talk about is, um, you know, like I was, mate, I was, the other day I was, I went down to the city uh, with, with my mate and I tell you what, mate, I can't believe the amount of people that are sitting outside shops begging for money, yeah, with dogs. And most of them are ex-army people. How can they let people that was in the army who are fighting for us, who got one leg, one arm, one nose, one eye, or whatever it is, yeah? Not one nose, look at me, silly me. You know what I mean? And and and, uh, and they, they don't give them a place to live in. Come on, what's wrong? That ain't right. That ain't right, mate. What is going on? And you got these nurses, yeah? <laughs> I can't make it out, mate. When this virus was going crazy, everybody was on NHS going to see the, the doctors, the nurses, on their case, 24-7, ambulances, 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 going to the hospital, these poor nurses working 24 hours a day, 22 hours a day. And what they do, the government? Give them 1%. And the government give themselves 30%, 50%. They can do that because, it, come on, how can we stand for that? How can we stand for these nurses getting 1%? It's terrible. It's terrible, mate. You know that I know people that are watching my podcast. That's really, really terrible. You know, no one sticks up for these people. You know what I mean? All that crap about going outside your house, <laughs> clapping your hands. What's all that about? <laughs> that's, they should be going out collecting money for these people. Where's it go? It doesn't go to them. It goes to the government, mate. Come on, we've got to look after these people. Somehow it's got to be ratified or whatever they call it. Well, I don't know. It is. What, what, come on, sort it out, yeah? Sort his nurses out, poor fuckers. Because well, when it comes out again, when this virus comes again, it's going to come again. We all know it's going to come again. The government are going to make something up. It's going to come again. And all of a sudden, the nurses are going to suffer again. 1%. 1%. Have you seen? Have you seen the Alpha of Lords? Have you seen the Parliament and all that where they're just laying there sleeping? They're sleeping. They're going in the clubhouse, getting drunk, going on the thing and sleeping. And they're the ones you're giving three hundred pound a day, three hundred pound a day they're getting just to for their for their cabs and their food. We're paying that three hundred pound a day. There's people out there that don't get three hundred pound a month. Three hundred pound a month. Come on, what's going on? What is going on, mate? Anyway, I don't want to get into that politics crap because I think it's a lot of shit. Anyway, you know what I mean? I mean, come on, we're we're, we're all alive. 
we're all alive, we're just about living, you know, and um, and, 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 and they tax people like it's going out of fashion, tax, 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 you know, come on, this wasn't meant to be like this, this wasn't meant to be like this, and it is, anyway, I started off about fighting, and, uh, you know, and, and, and it's uh, gone to that, but, uh, you know, I want everybody out there to um, like and subscribe my channel, and uh, look at uh, a couple of my pals, like uh, Christian, KINTV, nice man, does really, really well. Do you know what, mate? Christian, he does his podcast. He might get three or four hundred pound uh, a month off of YouTube. I don't know how he gets that, but he does. Because uh, I don't get it. I can't get no money, but he does. And he spends about 1200 quid a month on on his, um, what do you call it, ed editing. I mean, he edits every podcast. He spends about £1,200 a month editing. Come on, that's unbelievable. And he ain't earning no money, mate. He ain't earning no money. Everything he's got, he go, puts into there. He works, he puts into, into his YouTube because he wants to go forward. He wants to get something else going, yeah? He wants. He needs sponsorship. He should we all... We, listen, we all need sponsorship. Is anybody out there? Sponsor me. Sponsor me. I want to be sponsored. Sponsor me. Listen, in a minute, mate, when I do my book... Everyone's out there is going to wish they did sponsor me because it's going to be the best seller. Believe me, it's going to be the best seller. I'm getting myself really fit at the minute. You know, every, I'm really getting fit. I'm training every day, every day. I go for a little walk away in the morning. I take these two big ball balls out. Mate, it's crazy. Let me tell you something, bro. It's so funny. The other day, my mate Terry, who owns the ball balls, and the bitch, the dog, is a bit hypo. He's crazy, yeah? He's beautiful. He's getting really muscular now because of all the walks I'm giving him. And the bitch, she's big. I think she's pregnant. She's having puppies. Uh, but I love her to death. She's all over me. She's really lovable. Uh, I think whoever had her before must have bashed her up a bit because sometimes if you lift your hands at a certain stuff, she's on the floor cowing, yeah? But she's such a beautiful dog. She's come back into herself now. And, 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 and <laughs> my mate Terry said, yeah, let, and they love dogs. They love dogs. Okay. I won't let him off because I've seen the performance he makes when he sees a dog. He, he, he pulls me along the floor. I put my two feet into the earth and he drags me. <laughs> I swear. He, I am strong as an ox, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to pull him. And he, he, I mean, one day, the, one day the, lever, the liver strap on your is going to come off, you know what I mean? And, uh, and I mean, the other day, <laughs> I was walking him, yeah, and I tried to change it onto my my other hand, this finger, and it slipped, and he was gone. He was gone, mate. And do you know what? It took me what four minutes to get him back, and that's a long time, you know, running round, running round. You know, I'm in mean, the forest road where they live, and he eventually come to me, you know, and I stroked him, loved him, and he, he bit the bitch. Anyway. So I've been walking her for a bit of time and I've seen a few dogs and she ain't really took a notice of them, you know what I mean? And I thought, oh, I'll try it anyway. So I let her go and we were up the thing and come back round, round the woods, a uh, couple of times round the woods and uh, she's looking about for what, what she wants to kill. She's looking for deers or whatever they look for, these dogs, them big ball boys, because that's what they've done, they're hunting dogs, you know what I mean? And um, they used to fight lions and all that, cheaters, and not cheaters, lions and leopards and all that in their country, like three or four of them. They used to bash them up, you know what I mean? They're, listen, they got 800 pounds fresh on their jaws. They're the strongest dogs ever for the jaw. Mm -hmm. the jaw. They crush. Listen, I see them in Marabone, Marabone, mm -hmm. crush them. If they got on your arm or got the right sort of part of your arm, you're dead, they're going to crush it, yeah? Anyway, so I took her for, this time, I took her for a long, long, long walk. I do them about four miles each. A long walk, and uh, we're going through the woods. Been around the woods twice. I thought I'd give her another time. So it's crazy, fate. As I'm turning around, there's this woman with this poodle-like dog. Not a poodle. It wasn't a little. It was a poodle-like dog, yeah. And mate, all of a sudden this thing come come near me, and this, my listen, this bobo. She was on it in seconds. You don't realise how agile these dogs are. They're about 13, 14 stone. And they're so agile, it's unbelievable. She was on this little dog in seconds, yeah? She clamped you to the floor with her big, big paws. She's got paws bigger than my hands. I'm not joking, you know what I mean? And she clamped you to the floor. And lucky that, that uh, it's choke, I didn't take the choke off, yeah? Get the choke on it around its neck. 
whack, grabbed the choke and pulled it. I mean, and it was like, oh, fucking hell, mate. It was really, really hard work. But eventually got it off the dog. It wasn't biting the dog. It just had its paws on it. But it was going to rip it to pieces, mate. In seconds, that dog would have just one crunch and it would have killed it. You know what I mean? And I thought, no way. I loved her. I got hold of her and cuddled her and stroked her and loved her when she was licking me. I don't want to show no. I don't want to show no hatred there. You know what I mean? I don't want to show no harm to her. And uh, she, she. I mean, we, we got right at the end of it. Right, right at the end of my books. Yeah. What they do, these dogs, these boar boars, right? They're like lycro. They call them lycro dogs because they stick to your legs. They don't wander. They stick to your legs. Yeah. They buy your side twenty four seven, and they stick to your legs. What well, a bitch! She's massive. She's really, really heavy, and she sticks to my legs. And she, every day I've got to change my trousers because she mashes them up, yeah? On my tra trainers, she mashes them up. But, mate, the other day, there's a hill right at the very end, right? And we run down it. And she stuck to my legs the other day so much <laughs> that she pushed me onto this edge, mate. I was going down the hill, she pushed me off this edge. I swear. Lucky the edge, train, the, the edge was there, it, it saved my life, you know what I mean? Because, mate, I'd have been smashed to pieces because you got all barbed wire. <laughs> I bet she's loving me. She's so, so beautiful. I love it to death. Uh, people, um, you know, people that got these ball boys, um, you know, I mean, they're the best dogs you could ever, ever get. They're so lovable. They're very good house dogs and they're very dangerous dogs. Um, to let go of other dogs, you know, um, it's not a good thing, but mate, as pets, they're the best pets you could ever have, they're so beautiful, so lovable, um, but they're massive, aren't they? they're big, I mean, come on, there's one the other day, 235 pounds, 235 pounds, the boar boar, they did like that, you know what I mean, but I mean, I love them to death, I love them to death, they see me come in the morning, or in the afternoon, and they go crazy, they go crazy, I, I can't take them out today because uh, yesterday, uh, as I said the other day, um, I got pulled, out, pulled over uh, to, to the edge, but I didn't realise uh, until yesterday that um, she pulled something on my back. You know, pulled something on my back, and I'm oh my god, and I just said, like, just had a nice bath and all that, you know what I mean? And, 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 and it's took the pain away, you know what I mean? But I feel as if I'm going to get some of that deep heat shit or whatever to put my back. I think she might have pulled a little muscle, you know. Uh, um, but I'm also going to have a workout today in the gym. I'm going to have a good little workout, you know. I'm do a few inclines, declines, a uh, bit of benching, a bit of uh, tricep work, you know, a bit of deltoid flies, you know, and all them sort of things, and, 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 and you know, and, and upright lines, and just have a nice sort of maybe 30 minute, 25 minute workout, not too, not, you know, just a bit of weight, nice weights, and um, and, and just crack into it, you know, I want to get myself not a bit not so strong, I want to fight someone, yeah, you know what I mean, and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it, I'm going to train for it, and um, I'm going to challenge, challenge later on, but um, anyway, you got to keep going forward, mate, and there's people out there, listen, I'm 71, there's people out there my age, on Zimmer's, Get off the Zimmer and start training. Get off the Zimmer and lay on your couch, getting fat as a pig, drinking beer and beer and beer, and eating cakes and cakes. Listen, swear to God, I'm the same. I don't drink, I don't touch beer. I don't drink at all, actually. I don't drink, you know. I don't drink. If I drink, I might have a shandy. One shandy and I go, oh, oh, oh. But, but, but I like a cake. I love a cake the other day, like, yeah, but, um, we had a few cakes, and then, do you know what? You don't realise, right? You have a cake, and it's it plays on you, you know. It plays on your body. You don't realise. And we went with me the other day, went with bar. I love Wimpy's, you know that. You know the old Wimpy cheeseburgers, you know the old Frankfurter, uh, and the old milk. I love the milkshake. Really, I'll go there for the milkshake. It's like a big kids, you know. When you're freezing cold, you get the head rush. They all oh, the head rush it does you in, doesn't it? God, oh, fucking know what I mean. And um, you know, and, and, and after, what, you feel like shit, you feel like shit, <laughs> we had, yesterday me and my mate too, yeah, we had a big potato dinner jacket, tuna, salad, everything mate, and it was out of this world, and you felt good after, you felt like, yeah, you know, 
you felt good. So it's all about, really, it is about good food, but a lot of it, people go, I'm going to die on a diet. Listen, it ain't about dieting, it's about training. It's about walking, go for long walks. You ain't got to cut down the things you like. You cut down the things you like, you become miserable, yeah? Oh, you see things that you want to eat, you can't because you've done a diet, you know, have it, eat it. Eat it, but make sure you exercise. Counter it, counter it, counter it. Come on, you, you eat chocolates and cakes, and all of a sudden, you, you, up there somewhere, mate, it ain't good. You know what I mean? It ain't good. You feel, oh, I feel bad. But all of a sudden, you start exercising, walking, walking and walking and walking, doing little bits of exercise, then come back up again. And it's about that. Come on. It's about that exercise. People sit on their houses in their house, at their dinner, watch television, have a few drinks, and this, that, and the other, get out of bed, before you know where you are, you're fat as a pig. You're fat, mate. The fat's no good. It's not a good, it's not a good fat. It's a bad, bad fat. It's bad, mate. It's bad. And all you know, the old heart can't take it. The old, the old heart can't take it. I've had it, mate. I had it. Come on, the old heart. Mine was cholesterol. Mine's cholesterol, mine's cholesterol, it's a bad thing, it's cholesterol, it clogs up the arteries. Um, I had four stents in my heart, you know what I mean? My, my, my uh, thing, people are going to go, yeah, you're complaining about your heart again. <laughs> no, I ain't complaining about your heart again. I, I, listen, I train every day, I walk every day, I do a little run every day, because I need to get myself fit, and I need not to get fat. I'm 71, I don't want to get a waste of... 50 on inches and a little chest of 38 inches. You know what I mean? Look like that, you know? Come down a big frame like that, you know? Like a diamond shape, you know? I don't want that, mate. I don't want that. And you don't want that out there. You don't want that. Come on, the people that are watching this podcast, you're sitting there now, more like a cup of tea and a big sandwich stuck in your face or a big breakfast, and they're thinking, yeah, this is lovely. And then what you do? Go on the couch, watch us put the television on, or whatever, go outside, get in your car, drive down to the shop, run the down the road. It's, come on, is that what you do? I know you do it. Come on, you're doing it. Don't run under the down, walk, uh, drive under the jars down the road. Walk f- half a mile down the road to another shop and come back. You're going to go, oh, oh, I'm fucked. Yeah, but all of a sudden, you ain't fucked. All of a sudden, you're feeling really, really good. You're feeling on top of the world, mate. You're feeling on top of the world. Honestly. You get really fit and well, mate. You know what I mean? Come on. Come on. Your poor wife, she ain't seen you for ages. <laughs> she forgets what you're all about. Come on. Get yourself together. Come on. Start training. Start walking. Just about walking. Just about walking. That's all it is. You've seen Brian Cottle? He had a bad heart attack or something, whatever he had. Whatever he had, a stroke, I don't know what he had. But he's training. He's back training again. Brian Cottle, I think it's Cottle or Cottle, whatever his name is. He's back training. You know, he do not know who I am. So the other day I sent him, sent him regards. Bang, bang, rail. I could see his wife or his girlfriend saying, bang, bang, rail, sends him regards. Don't know him. Mate, look in the street fighting book. Look in the book, mate. You're there with me. You should know me. Ray Hill, you should know me. Come on, I was going to fight you, mate, years ago. Years ago, I was going to fight you, you know, and then I got put away. A lot of these p- people, I got put away again, you know what I mean? And then, like, uh, uh, you know, but come on, and then I worked with a big company, mate, and, uh, and I didn't need to do that, yeah. But, um, but yeah, um, come on. Anyway, what I was just saying, I keep saying like and subscribe. Because they want to go, and all of a sudden something always comes up, yeah. But uh, please, for me, yeah, please for me, help, help these nurses out, help these ex-army people out who are on the road with their dogs asking for a few pennies. You know what? Come on, asking for a few pennies. The government ain't helping them out. I keep saying about these people sleeping on the streets. You've got millions and millions of shops out there that are empty, empty. And yet people sleep outside the shop, freezing cold, pissing with rain, soaking wet. Why don't they open the shop? Why don't they open that shop and let them in? There's enough people, ex-army people, who could look after them shops. 
make sure there's no problems in them. Open the shops, let them go in there. Let them go in there, sleep with a bit of comfort at night times. No, not the government. No, they've got a pen of rents. They've got a pen of rent. You've got too much money. You've got too much money, you're getting too much money, mate. Underground, underground a year. Come on, 200 grand a year, 300 grand a year. It's crazy. What do you do? Nag, 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 nag. Drink, 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 drink. Fall asleep. <laughs> and, and ruin us, our lives. Ruin our lives. Telling us about this virus and whatever and injections and people are dying and people ain't dying. What's going on, mate? What's happening? Sort it out, mate. Sort it out. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm going to keep going. But I just want to let you know, uh, uh, Lou Yates, uh, I love your podcast, mate. Um, he was a very, very uh, hard man. He came from up north, come to London to work the clubs down here, which ain't easy. I understand that. But um, I've got to say something, mate. You weren't a governor. You weren't a governor, mate. And uh, nor was Roy Shaw, nor was Lenny McLean, because there was too, too many fighters out there, mate. Too many other fighters out there you got to beat to become the governor. And once you get beat, you're no longer the governor. It's as easy as that. No one lasts forever, mate. No one lasts forever. Remember that. And don't keep calling yourself a governor because you ain't no governor. Yeah? You might be in your heart. And that's about it, yeah? Um, there's a few people um, uh, want me to do this um, podcast. Um, uh, doing you, Lou Nate. You, Lou, 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 Lou Yates and other people. And yeah, I'm going to do a podcast with him. Uh, is it Down and Tavern? Down and Tavern? I'm sure I box at Down and Tavern. Um, uh, I'm sure I box down at Down and Tavern. Um, who else? Someone used to run that, uh, uh, own that place. Who is it? Um, I forget his name now, Fire. I forget his name. But anyway, um, a lot of us are scoring. Have a nice day. Take care and like. And subscribe. Don't forget my bells, uh, Christian. All right. Take care. Oh, one more thing, yeah. Um, a mate of mine, a very good friend of mine, uh, by the name of um, uh, Sherry London, uh, Black Girl, Sherry London, a mate of mine, friend of mine, friend of my mates, and uh, she's a nice, nice woman. And she does a lot of uh, building work, uh, painting, painting, decorating, but she's excellent at laying floors. First class at laying floors. Don't forget, Sherry London, um, she's excellent at what she does. Look it up, look it up at Google. And not only can she lay floors, mate, is there someone out there who's got a studios and wants someone to get on, on, it's her. She can sing. And she is an excellent singer. You know what I mean? Give her a chance. Give the girl a chance. Get hold of her and give her a chance. She deserves a chance, honestly. She's got a little baby. Not a little baby now, I mean, she's 11. Little Harmony. Harmony's a lovely little kid. She wants to get on. A place is a place is nice. She does a place up nice, and she's trying. And she's trying. So give her a chance. Don't forget. Don't forget Sherry London, and uh, give her a chance. Uh, I, I I can't give her a phone number because it's not for me to do that. Uh, but she's my mate's girl or whatever you know. And I ain't the set calls no problems on the phone for her. But she's a nice nice woman. Uh, give her a chance. Sherry London. She does floors, she does paint and decorating, and she's an excellent, excellent singer. Uh, Change, I think the, the record was called Change, on YouTube. Get it and look at it and sound, listen to the, listen to the way she talks. Excellent talker, excellent singer. She's not, she's got good, she's really good, yeah. So give her a chance. So Sherry London, Sherry London, yeah. Just say from Ray Hill, from Ray Bang Bang Hill, talk to her, give her a chance. Have a nice day, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye.